So I recently made a video on how to use Kali Linux on Android phone using Tamox X11 and the video has gotten you know a lot of positive review. So because of that video I decided to make you know um, a video on how to use Ubuntu this time around. So make sure you watch this video till the end to see how this is done so that you don't make mistakes when you do yours. And if you're seeing this channel for the first time we upload videos on Linux tutorials, ethical hacking and programming. If you're interested in this niche click the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss out when you have upload another video and um, without wasting much of your time like i said earlier let's get to the video okay welcome back update your tamox repository with the apt update command and then um, install peer to distro with the command display on your screen right now now after peer to distro has been installed the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install ubuntu do that with the peer to distro install ubuntu command all right okay now that ubuntu has been installed Once you're logged into Ubuntu, you're going to update your terminal with the app update command. And after updating Ubuntu, we're going to push it to the installation of the XFCDG UI and TBOS to be able to connect you know, with the GUI interface. So you're going to do that with the command chain on the screen right now also. And you're going to wait for the installation to complete. Now once the installation is complete, we're going to open a new section to Tamox, alright? And we're going to be installing X11 repo, which is going to aid in the usage of the Tamox S11 application, okay. So, first you update Tamox packages, do that with the pkg update command. And after updating Tamox packages, you're going to install X11 repo, okay. You're going to do that with the command chain on your screen right now. Once the package has been installed, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Tamox S11 nightly. Do that with the command chain on your screen right now, also, all right. Now, once that package has been installed, we're going to proceed to the installation of the Tamox S11 application. So you're going to head to GitHub. I'm also going to be leaving this um, link in the description below. You're going to download the Universal application, all right? The Universal APK because this Universal APK supports both 32 and 64-bit Android phone. And you're going to install it just like you install every other application, okay? Now, after installing the application, you're going to head to Tamox, and we're going to give Tamox the permission to be accessed by external applications okay you're going to do that with the command chain on your screen right now all right now after entry that command you're going to scroll down or you're going to locate this so you're going to uncomment this allow external apps okay and you're going to save the script by clicking ctrl x on your keyboard all right and then you're going to click on y to save the script now that that has been done the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start the tamox s11 okay to do that you're going to use the command tamox x11 colon 1 and okay this is going to launch tamox x11 on the localhost one and make it available to be accessed on external application now we're going to navigate back to ubuntu and then you're going to exit okay and then we're going to log in back to ubuntu using the tmp directory because tamox x11 uses the tmp directory for running graphical linux applications on android devices okay so to do that you're going to log in with the command chain on your screen right now which is a command that specifies that we want to log into ubuntu using the tmp directory okay now that you're logged in again the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be connecting our gui interface with tamox x11 okay we're going to be doing that with the export command chain on your device right now and um, we're going to be connecting to the localhost one because we launched tamox x11 on localhost one and then you're going to connect your GUI. Right in our case, it is XFC4 section. In yours, it could be, you know, Gino or whatever. So connect to your GUI and um, yeah, welcome to Tamox X11. So you're going to be using the Tamox X11 application to connect. And as you can see, we are logged into Ubuntu. Okay? So now you can proceed with, you know, um, designing your desktop application however you wish. I have made a few videos on, you know, designing your Ubuntu desktop application. So go and check them out. And then finally, once you're done using your operating system and you want to you know, close this server, all you have to do is navigate back to Tamox, okay, okay, and copy the process ID your Tamox is running, okay, and then you're going to enter the command below, which is kill-9, and you're going to paste that process number, and that is going to kill Tamox. 